Yo, what is up YouTube? Lee the Captain here, and in today's video, I want to talk about how much will 10,000 Astar potentially be worth in 2025. However, before I continue on any further, please keep in mind that I am not a financial advisor. These are all just hypothetical scenarios, and there's absolutely no guarantee that any of it is going to happen. But with that being said, as of right now, 10,000 Astar is currently worth $1,000. And with that in mind, if Astar during the next bull run were to hypothetically at least go to the price of $2, at that point, 10,000 Astar would be worth $20,000. And personally speaking, do I think that Astar during the next bull run could hypothetically go to the price of $2? I think it could very well happen. And here's the reason why I think so. And a major reason why I think that could happen, I think it's going to boil down to the fact that the Astar network, it has rock solid fundamentals. As a matter of fact, the Astar network is Japan's leading blockchain, which I find very amazing. And before I think we can understand just how special the Astar network is, I first want to explain a common issue that exists as of right now in the whole blockchain space overall. You know, currently, there are so many blockchains out there, so many networks. However, for the most part, they are not able to freely interact with one another. You know, quite essentially, they lack interoperability. However, with that being said, regarding the issue of that whole interoperability nonsense, there is a solution because this is where the Astar network steps in. As a matter of fact, the Astar network is an interoperable blockchain platform for Ethereum and Polkadot ecosystems, while at the same time also having bridges to other major blockchains as well, which I find very impressive. And personally, the way I view it is that what makes the Astar network very special is the fact that it's the first ever multi-chain build-to-earn protocol out there. And what this means right here is that the Astar network gives the ability for developers to actually earn basic income through building their products, which I find very fantastic. You know, for instance, right? Let's say I'm a developer and I want to build a decentralized application on the Astar network. If I were to do that, I would have the potential to earn income by way of Astar tokens, which is absolutely revolutionary because when you think about it, Play to earn, as of right now, it's a big deal. People are loving play to earn games, and so do I. I think it's fantastic how people can actually earn income by playing games. However, something that I find even more revolutionary than that is build to earn, because by being able to build a decentralized application and potentially earning income as a result of doing that, I think that's fantastic. However, I think that it should be noted how developers, if they do want to earn income on the Astar network by building their products, they have to do it through something called dApp staking or otherwise known as decentralized application staking. However, it doesn't end there because currently on the Astar network, there's over 50 decentralized applications and over 500,000 community members. Carajo, poha. That's insane right there. Makes me want to go ahead and eat a picanha. However, this doesn't really surprise me because the Astar network is that special. And when I consider just how amazing it is, I truly do believe that Astar during the next bull run could hypothetically at least go to the price of $2 during the next bull run. And now I want to talk about the next price target for Astar and that is Astar at the price of $3. And when it comes to this, do I believe that Astar could hypothetically reach this price target during the next bull run? I believe that it could hypothetically happen. And a major reason why I think that could happen, I think it's going to boil down to the fact that the global blockchain technology market has so much room to grow. And what do I mean by this? If we take a look at this, we will see that by 2030, the global blockchain technology market is anticipated to be worth over $1.4 trillion. That's a very crazy figure right there. That's bigger than some countries' GDP. And I do believe that moving forward, as the blockchain technology market continues to grow and prosper, I think so will amazing projects, much like the Astar Network. What we're seeing right now with blockchain adoption, I think it's just the beginning. I think the best is yet to come. And when I take that into consideration, I do believe that Astar during the next bull run could hypothetically at least go to the price of $3. And now, I want to talk about an absolutely gigantic and massive, that's what she said, milestone for Astar. And that is Astar at the price of $5. And when it comes to this price target, some people, they may think, whoa. That's absolutely crazy. That's insane. That's ridiculous. However, I disagree because I believe that Astar could hypothetically reach this during the next bull run. And the reason why I think so is because I think that the next altcoin season is going to look absolutely legendary. I think it's going to dwarf the 2021 altcoin season. 
And why do I say this? Because currently, there's more people than ever before in history owning cryptos. And that's not a joke. There's currently over 420 million people around the world owning cryptocurrencies. And just to put this number into perspective, when we take a look back in 2021, you know, during that crazy bull run at that time, there was actually over 100 million less crypto owners than today. So you got to let that sink in, right? The 2021 bull run was already that ridiculous. So one could only imagine what the next bull run will look like, especially now when we insert over 100 million new crypto owners. I mean, man, when there's this many people owning cryptos, I think that all of the FOMO, buying pressure, buying volume, and again, right, the altcoin season that we saw back in 2021, I think all of that could very well be amplified in such a fantastic way. And when I take that into consideration, and when I consider the A-plus fundamentals of the Astar network, I don't see why Astar during the next bull run won't hypothetically at least go to the price of $5 and during the process make all of those Astar critics come running over to their girlfriend's boyfriend's grandma and start begging for that used Bratwurst extender Hannah Montana and Taylor Swift edition. If you know, you know. Gonna be a little bit embarrassing if you ask me, but hey. I'm extremely bullish on Astar. I think that it's a sleeping giant. That's what she said. And if you want to check out a very interesting video, make sure to go ahead and click on this thumbnail right here. It's a very fantastic video. And I think you all would really love it. It's been Lee the Captain. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. I'm out. Peace. Bye.